Oh, the lake's... We drowned ourselves. Huh? Just thinking of the list of things to do today. Mm -hmm. So, we're actually on a day trip, and what we thought we would do is go around and visit other mental health facilities and see what they have to offer. So, you can hold that for a minute right here. I just received a pamphlet from um, an establishment entitled Dr. Coe's Sanitarium. And so I think we'll establish in 1888, a good year. And I think we should read a little bit about this. Um, well, first he tells you how to get there, which is a whole other episode in itself. But I present the contents of this book to the afflicted, fully knowing that I will cure them if they put their case in my hands while their case is yet curable. Yes, okay, so you see how we've already got them there, where if you're curable, I will absolutely cure you. And who's to decide? Who's to say? My charges are reasonable, and my accommodations for the comfortable handling of my patients are unequal. Handling. Tequila. Handling. Oh, but he does say, I invite the most careful investigation of any who are afflicted. <gasps> He's going to run a prostitution ring. You may investigate my inflicted as carefully as you like. I asked you to write to any and as many of my former patients as you wish. Also to my business references and learn for yourself as to my medical skill and my ability to cure you, my trustworthiness and my financial responsibility. It is to your interest as well as mine for you to thoroughly investigate me my methods, treatment, etc. Then come and be cured. It really says that. It really says that. Come and be cured? Right. Methods, treatments, etc. Then come and be cured. What He's promise. so melodramatic. And come us. and be cured. Right. It's like, behold, the wonder that is. Investigate me. me. I invite you to fully investigate me and see whether or not I am in fact. All right, now there was a part that I skipped through before that I would like, well, first I'd like to show you this. I was showing Jamie earlier that here, as testimonials, we've got photographs of a nurse, a lovely, lovely lady, with a child, and they're saying, here's the nurse with a child afflicted with hair lip, which is like a cleft, um, and here's after. Now, I challenge you to find the differences other than the, the drawing and pen someone did to deform the photo of the child. I think we need a close-up. That is not Photoshop. This is Victorian. What I'm showing you is Victorian Photoshop. Yeah. Oh, these are good. These show the interior of the facilities. This is a view of the library, dining room, reception hall. I'm sure the patients will be spending a lot of time here. This is the reception hall, the main stairway. No, it has a sanitarium, a place you go to be clean. We will clean you of all the filth. Female trouble. We know all about that. And sciatic rheumatism, all of which troubles I had suffered with for a good many years. I had terrible headache spells and was hardly able to be about. This year, I feel much better. I think Dr. Coe's treatment is all right. He agreed to treat me six months, and if not cured, could treat me six months longer without extra charge, which he has done. I hardly recommend him to anyone suffering from any ailment. He will cheerfully do everything he agrees to do. Now see, that's interesting because anyone
and will cheerfully do everything they agree to do. Otherwise, you would not agree to it. I am happy to do anything I'm happy to do. I was taken sick in June 1899. My ankles and wrists were swollen. My but this sounds like a poem. This is like Edgar Allan Poe. My bones and head ached continually. I waited for him to write something was swollen. <laughs> but no, continually. And I was very nervous. Could not sleep scarcely any day or night. It's called manic depression, dude. Drug depression. I have my own drug department, don't we all, and prepare all my medicines. I buy all drugs and compound them in my own laboratory so I can furnish medicines that are fresh, pure, and wholesome. And the nurses are experienced and pleasant, always ready to make the patients comfortable as possible. That's it. going to pick a letter and you at random and you're gonna see if you can think of a medication of any kind whatsoever that starts with this letter. Right. If you get one then Forest? you get to eat the, the is that a medication or a eating solution? <laughs> Actually both. not exactly really? You win. Okay, now you have to ask me something because you passed. What a shame. All right. R. R. It has to be a medicine or at least a chemical that could be taken as such. Maybe. Um, essentially something you could overdose on. Okay, that's pretty much it. C. This is hard. That's why I chose right. Borax. Oh. Shit. Okay, keep All going. Right. Help. Thank you. Thank you. Right. A. A is for. Ready? 
leg, one fireman at a time. Oh, I don't know what